at this point in time, the HPV test could potentially uh, replace pap testing for most women. It's a better first test than a pap test. That if your HPV test is negative, the chances of you developing cervical cancer is profoundly low for a long time. So that's kind of the bonus of doing HPV testing. If the HPV test is positive, then you actually have to do some more testing to find out, you know, are you truly at risk for cancer or not? It doesn't mean that you have cervical cancer and you may never actually ever get cervical cancer even if you have HPV. It's just that negative HPV means no cervical cancer. If the test is positive, then we would do more screening to find out for sure if there's a risk for cervical cancer or not. In this country, pretty much everybody that dies of cervical cancer has not been screened or at least hasn't been screened as they're supposed to. And so for the United States, cervical cancer has become a disease of neglect. It's a disease of women who are not getting taken care of either by their own choice or by lack of resources. I think that um, asking about HPV testing for cervical cancer screening you know, would be a good choice that if the test is negative, it is very reassuring. If the test is positive, then you can have additional screening. Um, you might go from an every three-year schedule to an every one-year schedule, you know, depending on the follow-up testing.